my yard is full of bees. They are on a move. And I don't know if you can see I'm in the air. I'm in a cloud of bees. I'm very lucky that I was home to witness this. And normally I let my bees go, but I think I'm gonna keep these. This is pretty special. I need to figure out how to get them from there to the box. As I was contemplating on how to safely transfer them from the tree to the box, something extraordinary happened. Suddenly, and for no particular reason, bees which were ready to leave decided to come back to the old box. For the whole time that I've been beekeeping, I have never witnessed anything like this. And I'm wondering if it was me or maybe the smoke that uh, aggravated them and made them decide to come back to the original box. But uh, in any case, to prevent the swarm uh, from co uh, coming back to the old box, I closed the entrance to the old box and I put the new box right next to it. It didn't take them very long to reorganize and start coming to the new box. The big question now is if the queen is in a new box. To make sure the new colony survives, I took a couple of frames with brood from the old box and put it in there. I let the bees settle down and later in the evening that day, I transferred the box to a new location. Now, when you start a new colony like this, it's important to protect it from ants. And that's why I have these bottles filled with water so the ants can come and attack the new colony. After a few days, bees will seal all the cracks and openings on the box and will be able to defend themselves from the ants. The spring is here and the month of April is ahead of us with a lot of bloom. So this colony should do well, assuming the queen is with them or they're able to bring a new queen from the brood I shared from the old box. Thank you all for watching and thank you for being part of this channel where I try to share simple tips on homesteading. Greetings to all from Vladis Place.